ever watched the news and seen a swirling mess of reds, greens, and purples on the radar and thought, is that a storm system or a weather-themed lava lamp? You're not the only one. Those colorful blobs aren't just meteorological mood rings, they're how we track rain, storms, and sometimes the kind of weather that makes you wish you'd stayed in bed. Radar, short for radio detection and ranging, not really angry dads asking rain, works by sending out radio waves that bounce off raindrops, hail, or snowflakes and come back to the radar site. The stronger the bounce back, the heavier the precipitation. That's how we get those trippy weather visuals, green for light rain, yellow for maybe grab an umbrella, red for seriously, get inside, and purple or white for hail no. Now let's talk Doppler radar, the real VIP of weather watching. It doesn't just tell us where it's raining. It shows how fast things are moving and in what direction. If winds are blowing toward the radar, it paints the map green. If they're heading away, you get red. And when green and red snuggle up next to each other, that might mean rotation, aka, tornado potential, aka, get in the basement and bring snacks. Radar can even detect wind shear, squall lines, and those sneaky pop-up storms that look innocent until your picnic ends in a soggy stampede. In short, Doppler is like the weather's gossip queen, always spilling the tea on what's about to blow up. So, radar versus satellite, who wins? Well, satellite gives us that high altitude, I can see my house from here vibe. It's great for tracking massive systems like hurricanes. Radar, on the other hand, zooms in like a nosy neighbor. It catches local storms in the act, showing what's falling right now and how fast it's moving. You need both, really. It's like Batman and Robin, different skills, same mission, saving your plans from being rained out. But radar isn't flawless. It can't always see drizzle, especially far from the radar station. And thanks to Earth's curve, thanks a lot, geometry, it sometimes scans above the actual storm, missing what's happening down low. That's why meteorologists mix radar with satellite data, surface observations, and reports from train spotters. Because sometimes, the best forecast still needs a little human touch, and maybe a coffee. So the next time you open a weather app and see a colorful blob heading your way, don't panic, just remember, that's science in motion. A signal bounced off a raindrop, crunched by a supercomputer, interpreted by someone with a passion for pressure gradients. Also you'd know whether to grab your umbrella or build an arc. Stay tuned, and join us next time on the Climate Hub as we continue decoding the skies, one giggle, and radar sweep, at a time.